Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of our tutorial series on importing your character creator three character into Unreal Engine. So in the first part of this tutorial series, we talked about optimizing the materials in character creator and how to import all the materials from the FBX that you export uh, from character creator three. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, using the different uh, level of details, uh, LOD uh, meshes that you can uh, use for different distances from your character in Unreal Engine to kind of optimize performance. If you don't have your character close to the camera, you don't really have to have super awesome textures, basically, or meshes is what we're talking about here. Okay, so let's go ahead first and take a look at how we can import in our Insta LOD, our, Insta, our LOD meshes, okay? So first of all, before we do that, I'm going to go a little bit further down on my character here. You can see our character, you may experience this issue where the character is kind of a little bit off the ground in some cases. Now, if you have a character that you come across like this, you can just go over here and select, uh, deselect auto align floor to mesh there. And normally it should fix the issue. And if you want, you can type in a value of like maybe 0 0.25 I found is pretty good for this character. And it sets our character's uh, feet right close to the ground mesh. Okay, so you don't have a floating character uh, since we don't want to have that while we're zooming away from our character there. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at Insta LOD. So under asset details here, we have all of our uh, materials and everything like that. And close to the bottom here, we have LOD. I'm going to just uh, bring up those sections right now. And under LOD settings here, we have base LOD. And we have the option to import LOD level 1. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. That's the first thing we're going to do. And we're going to select the level 1 LOD that we exported with 70,000 uh, poly count, the high mesh detail, and 2048 uh, texture size. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it'll say mesh for LOD 1 imported successfully. And we can change from LOD Auto to LOD 1. And you're probably like, oh, goodness sakes, what's happening here? Well, this is because we need to set the material for our character on Insta LOD 1. Okay, so let's go back to uh, LOD 0, which is our original character here. And we need to go up to the top and create a new material slot. Okay, we're going to need to do this four times for each one of the different LOD meshes. So let's go ahead and do it for the first one here. And now you see we have 31 material slots. Let's press that plus key. And it'll be down here at the bottom, uh, element 30. Okay, so let's go ahead and click this and select create new asset, new material. Now to keep things organized, I'm going to go into the CC avatar folder under materials. And let's just call this material LOD1 underscore level 1. Okay, just to keep things clear. These are all the other materials that we have here as well. We'll just go ahead and save that. Okay, so we have that uh, Insta LOD material, that LOD material there. Okay, so now that we have our Insta LOD material set up, the next item of business is to import all those textures from the different LOD files. Okay, or uh, different LOD meshes. Okay, so let's go ahead and just uh, minimize this a little bit. Let's go to our Explorer folder here where all of our textures are. So what we need to do is we're going to just go ahead and select. Uh, so in, in the FBM folders, again, you're going to have your diffuse and your normal. So these are diffuse and normal. This is for the entire character. Now, they're not separated into like uh, accessories and hair and all that stuff. Basically, what Insta LOD does is it'll kind of combine everything into one single texture map, okay, or a number of different single uh, texture maps with one material. Okay, so let's go ahead and import all of these in, uh, the FBM folders. Okay, so I'm going to shift select all of them right here. Let's go to our textures folder over here first to make sure we're importing it into the right place. Okay, so we have the Huntress zero, uh, LOD 0. We're going to do the same thing for the other folders. So just import in all these other folders just like this. And there you go. So now we have all those different uh, folders right here, and each one contains the diffuse and the normal map. All right. So the next item of business is to go into the textures folder. So again, we go into the textures folder uh, right here, this textures folder. And again, each um, folder here will have the roughness, metallic, uh, bump, and bake. So we can just go ahead and click and drag these in one by one. So this is the 70,000 poly count one. So we'll just click and drag them into here. Do the same thing for... Uh, folder two here. Make sure we're in this folder here. Let's go back to Explorer and just click and drag these bad boys in. And level three. Let's go to level three and bring those in. And finally, level four. Let's bring level four in as well. So we'll have all of the uh, texture maps all imported in just like that. So now that all the texture files are in, okay, once again, we have to change, uh, change our roughness, metallic, and AO maps. Okay, edit all of those and remove the sRGBs, okay, like we did before. So just like this and save. And 
Let's save. And I'll zoom through this really quick just so you can uh, save you some time. Okay, so in case you missed that part of the first tutorial, what we did is we basically took the ambient occlusion metallic and roughness maps from each uh, LOD mesh and just disabled the sRGB option on that to avoid uh, overexposure of the material. Okay, so now that we have all the texture stuff taken care of, let's go back into our character and take a look at importing in that material. So, or editing that material rather. So, if we go to an Insta LOD or LOD level zero back to one here, you can see obviously we have an issue there. So what we need to do is adjust that material and import in all the correct maps. So let's just go ahead and double click that material. And you can see, obviously we currently have nothing here. So let's go ahead and import in all the maps for LOD level one, okay, which is right here. We're gonna import in all the maps except the bump map. We don't need the bump map for this, okay? So ambient occlusion, diffuse, metallic, normal, roughness, Click and drag them in just like this. Okay, and then we got to organize them a little bit. So here we have the uh, the sun right here. That's our diffuse map right here. And there we go. Diffuse will be on the top, the base color, just like that. This will be our ambient occlusion one here. If you want to see which map you're dealing with here, just kind of mouse over over here. You can see this one is the uh, ambient occlusion. I'll take that one to the very bottom, bring it over there for now. And this one here is the metallic, I believe. Yep. So we'll click and drag this one to metallic, pipe it into metallic. And this one right here, probably the uh, normal. So we'll bring the normal in. There we go. And finally the roughness. So we'll just kind of rearrange these a little bit here. Bring the roughness one up and we should be good to go. Just keeping it organized for you guys so you can kind of not be too confused here anyways. Okay, so that's the setup. That's the basic setup. And you need to repeat this procedure for every single uh, level of detail material. Okay, I'm just gonna do it for this one here. So make sure you pay attention to this. We have the diffuse, uh, we have the uh, metallic, the roughness, the normal, and the ambient occlusion. Again, you don't need the bump maps. Once you've done this, you can take a look at the material right here. There we go, for the entire character. It looks like a ball of weird stuff right now, but let's go ahead and just save that. And then we can close the material down. And with our level of detail character one selected, let's go down here to sections. And for level of detail one, we need to change our material slot. Let's find that new material, level of detail one, level one, just like that. And there you go. So we can zoom out a little bit and that's what the character is gonna look like. Not as good as the original, obviously, but this is good enough for a certain distance from the character. And we're going to talk about how to adjust the uh, screen size and when your LOD will change in just a moment here. So let's go ahead and create our other level of details here. So we're going to go down to uh, LOD settings and import in level two. And we're going to select level two right here. Okay, same thing. And if we select it from the uh, preview here, you can see uh, it looks like the tongue mesh or tongue texture or whatever is uh, wrapped around the character. Uh, we can do the same thing. Just import in level three and level four. Okay, very simple process. And import in level four. There we go. Okay, and then so level two is going to look like this. Level three, the mesh is a little bit uh, less uh, detailed. And of course, level four is going to be the least detailed mesh of them all. Okay, let's go back to level of detail one here. And let's run through that material process one more time just as a quick review. Okay, so again, what you're going to do is you're going to go to so you have a material slot, so we're going to do this for level of detail 2 now. And let's go down to select this level of detail. So there's the one we created earlier. Let's change this from, uh, we'll create a new uh, asset rather here, a new material, into that same folder, same materials folder here. We're going to call this LOD2 underscore level 2. Okay, and give that a save. And then we're going to double click on that material, make sure it's loaded up, and we're going to bring in the appropriate maps here. So there's our level of detail too. We need our uh, uh, AO, we need a diffuse, we need metallic, normal, and roughness. And bring them all in just like this. Okay, and again, we're just going to arrange them really quickly. Basically, just re uh, repeat this procedure for all the other ones, and you should be good to go. Again, so AO pipes into AO. This one here, I believe, was the roughness map. This one here was the normal map. You get over here. Uh, where are we here? Normal, there we go. And diffuse map, or base color rather. And this one here is the metallic. 
Okay, looks organized enough for me. And again, you just basically repeat that process for all the different uh, other different materials and you should be go, good to go. Just make sure you save it. And then we can close that material down and a little LOD2 here and load that in on our LOD2 character. Under sections here and make sure we select not standard tongue, we need LOD level two. And it'll just take a second for that to load up. There we go. Okay, it's the LOD uh, level two. There we go, so not too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna do level of detail three and level of detail four, all the material creation, uh, just in the background here. And I'll come back when all that is finished. We can talk about the screen size. Okay, so here you can see now we have all of those uh, LOD levels, the materials loaded in here, level one, level two, level three, level four. So the next item of business here is to adjust the screen size. And this is basically when you set your LOD to auto LOD, uh, LOD auto right here, it's going to change your mesh uh, depending on the distance that your camera is from your character on the screen. Okay, so if I zoom out of my character right now, you can see that, uh, okay, it's switching like right about there. If you uh, pay close attention, you can see the hair kind of switching right there. And you can see we're switching from LOD 0 to LOD 1. Okay, now we can probably switch from LOD 0 to 1 a lot earlier than that. Okay, and I'll show you uh, how we can do that in just a sec here. You can see the screen size is 0 0.302 and 0 0.28 is when we switch, make that switch there. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can maybe adjust this a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move over here a little bit. You need to go over here to your LOD info. And we're going to choose a different LOD. So I'm going to choose uh, LOD picker. We're going to choose LOD 1. Okay, and we need to go ahead to LOD info here and change the screen size. Let's try something like 0 0.8 just to start off. Okay, 0 0.8. And let's go ahead to LOD 2 and change that one as well. Let's change LOD 2 screen size to 0 0.6. And we'll change LOD 3 to 0 0.4. 0.4. You can probably imagine the uh, next one here, LOD4. We're going to change that to 0 0.2. Okay, so 0 0.2. Okay, so now what happens if you set it to in, uh, auto LOD, uh, LOD auto rather, you can see we have one right here, and it's going to switch right about there. So it switches a little bit closer. Okay, so here the screen size between 0 0.9 and 0. Point, it switches at 0 0.8, so you can see here. We'll switch the mesh from that one to that one. Okay, so that's not really ideal because it's still kind of uh, too close and you can see the hair issue occurring there. So what we'll probably want to do there is adjust the screen size one more time. Let's try to uh, adjust this to something that we don't really notice that that much. Screen size 0 0.5 will change for LOD1. Uh, LOD2 will change it to 0 0.25. 25, okay. LOD3, whoops. Uh, where are we here? LOD picker. There we go. LOD3. We'll change that to 0 0.15 for screen size. There we go. And finally, LOD4. We'll change that to 0 0.05. 0 0.05, just like that. Okay, so we'll switch over here to auto LOD and take a look at the difference here. So now we have this LOD0 right here up in the top left, you can see, up until about here, and then we switch to 1. Okay, so just like that. Okay. Not too noticeable if you're going like really fast like that. You know, you can just kind of zoom in like that and you don't really notice much of a reduction on the mesh in your character. The materials and the general mesh uh, look pretty much the same. Okay, so that's the kind of effect that you want to achieve. Okay, so we can probably do this a little bit closer just by clicking and dragging our mouse there. So you can see we don't get the LOD change until we're at this level right here. There you go. And then finally further out, it'll change to LOD 2 right there. And then even further, LOD3, all right? So that's the final result right there. Now, if you're really close to the character, you can see an obvious difference. If we change from like LOD0 to LOD1 to LOD2, okay, you'll see an obvious difference when you're close, but from far away, it doesn't really look that different. Okay, so let's bring our character into our scene. So I have this Huntress motion animation sequence. This is the FBX file that I showed you earlier, uh, the, uh, the motion file that was gonna bring in my character. We can just go ahead and resize her using the R hot key here and kind of just position her in a nice area like this. All right, kind of a little bit of shadow on her face right there. And what we're going to do from there is just go over here to our post processing volume and just disable that. So we get a nice uh, high contrast lighting situation here and select our hunters, kind of bring her a little bit forward here 
just adjust the position there slightly. I think that should be a okay. All right, let's maybe zoom in a little bit. And when we zoom out, you can see the LOD change happened right there. Okay, so just right there, the LOD change, uh, you know, not very noticeable, especially if you're in a, in a game uh, situation. Okay, so let's go ahead and simulate this. And there you can see our character with the surrounding environment, all animated with her idle motion. All right, pretty cool stuff. Zoom in a little, zoom out there a little bit. There's the LOD change right there. Again, really noticeable. And we can just go even further out and just zoom in, say goodbye to our uh, huntress there, leave her alone in this uh, soul cave, and we're gradually adjusting the LOD level from there to there as well. And again, at this distance, you can barely change, you can barely notice any changes in mesh or anything like that. All right, so that's about all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you learned a lot about uh, exporting your character from uh, Character Creator 3 to Unreal Engine and integrating it into a project uh, that's free on the marketplace. Again, our forums are always available at forum.reillusion.com if you have any further questions. And I hope to see you in the next video.